so today I'll be showing you how to connect your, I'll be showing you both how to connect your X, PS3 and Xbox to your Mac using the EasyCap DC60, DC60, something like that, DC60. What you need is one of these cables that has all this crap at the end. This one, this one, um, and then it has uh, the other end, Xbox, PS3, and Wii. And if you want to know, I got this at GameStop, $19.99. This is what it is. Okay, so now, what you do is, I'll be showing you both, so... Now to start off with the Xbox. I see. Go behind it and plug her in. Okay, so there we go. Now leave it on that. See, not that, but that. Let me. Let me see what cord. And then you see these cords. Did you see these cords? Right here. What you're gonna do? See these? Plug. Do not plug. Oh, you're gonna kind of need to, but see this one. Plug this into plug this video. The S video. It makes it a lot better when you're playing. When I ever played it, I was using this at first. It wasn't that good. But you're also gonna have to plug in yellow with it. And I'm turning off the Xbox because the PS3 has to change some settings. Doesn't see have it like this. And then you're just gonna wanna hang on. Just gonna wanna plug her in. And that green light should show up. I mean turn you that working and then that will pop up. I'll be showing you how to get this easy cap viewer application. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And then you'll need one of these. I guess like a watch jack or something like that. It has audio plug like this. And then these two. Good one. So this don't if you have the MacBook Pro like I have, don't plug it into the headphones. Plug it into the one right next to it. Okay, and then with that, don't use this one. Use the two that have writing on them. And then, you're gonna wanna plug those in. Let's see again, let's put them in. See, it's played for some reason. Okay! You can see you got everything plugged in. Nice and tightly. And, yes, we should be good for now. Now, I'll be going to screen record. So I'll see you there. So we're back, and now to get this, all you have to do is go to Safari, and then let's go to Google.com, and you want to type in Easy Cap Viewer. And see this one? It says MacUpdate.com. Save your click this one. And then from here, once you get, get this page open, let's take a little bit, it will have this, then click download now, then you get the easy cap viewer, as you see, this is what you need, see this is the one I have, DC60, that's the one I have, so now it's fixed out of this, and then once you have your easy cap and everything plugged in, um, yeah, but yeah, with that, you just plug, open this, and then, Turn on the Xbox. Yep, starting up. And you want to click play. There you go. Voila. You get it up. And then, because if you take out the S video, as I'll show in a little bit. 
once it loads up. You can only see the sound because it's you. So you go to this, you guys go to configure device. I you click built in input and I don't even hear that or not, but um you got built in input and then Yeah, that's what I usually get built in input. I don't know if you can hear it or not. This sound is not talking. But um keep it on. S video. See when you change it to composite one. See it gets like ten times blurrier. So keep it on S video, because see it makes a big, big difference. See but if you like put the microphone, nothing really happens. See so keep it on built in input. But for some reason it is not working. Oh, there you go. It's kind of damn. You can't really hear it, but when you want to go to full screen, you want to click Enter Full Screen. Enter Full Screen. See, now you're in full screen. I just have to do this. And see, you can play all your games and everything. And then when you exit out, it's click Escape. But now I'll be showing you how to do it with PS3. So. Um, yes, just do the exact same things uh, I told you before with the Xbox, just plug it in the PS3. Then, click. Okay, the PS3 turned on. Start up in a bit. It's warmed up. There you go. As you can see, it's working with sound. Just kind of have it on. You don't have to change anything on your computer. All you have to do is when you want to convert your device, you just have built in input. So, yeah. Oh, no, I'll just click it and see what happens. In there. See, this chain, click yes, and that will show up. So, yeah, then from here, what you gotta do is change it to this. I go down and do this way. Video output settings and change it to not to this one but this one. And click that, click change, that'll go back to the screen. I was actually click the button, but okay, so when you're in here, you just have to change it back. So, like this, click yes, just leave it as it is. Click 16, dot, dot 9, click enter, click finish, and you got that. And you, same thing if you want to, um, full screen obviously there you go that's how you do it and you can see it's it's actually quite it's really nice and clear it's actually using this a s standard definition or s video is a lot better than using it on um my tv for some reason so yeah hope you enjoy this commentary please write comment and subscribe and i'll be doing a, another tutorial about how you record and i'll also be doing some gameplay so yeah peace out